welcome you. Thanks for coming in and presenting this lesson for us. We do appreciate it. And it's all yours. Um, I only have one question before you start. I didn't know what I'm going to I just watch or do I help or do I just. Yay. <laughs> thank you. I'll definitely sit down. Well, first of all, thank you guys for letting us come out. I know you see me, you know, twice a week, but thank you guys. So, Ms. Dotson's going to start. Okay, well, today we're going to begin our presentation on the Wright Brothers. How many of you have ever heard of the Wright Brothers? Okay. What about the Wright Memorial? Have any of you ever been there? Okay. And can you tell me what you know about that? To show the place where they first took off and everything. Okay. Okay. Did you like that scene the model for the Okay. Anybody else? They showed where they land and such. Okay. And where, where is that memorial at? What is the location? Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk. Okay. Does anyone know why they may have chosen Kitty Hawk? When they first started, they had one huge problem, and that was control. How are they going to control these planes? Or maybe stick shift? A stick shift? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> a little bit of like these are handles to control the back of the same thing. Okay, but what they did was they observed birds. So we all know that birds have wings, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So they watched these birds and how they were able to fly in the air. And they noticed that when the birds were flying in the air, in the wind, that wind would fly over the surface of the wings. And this, was, this created something known as lift, which Ms. Jones will talk about in a moment. And so from observing the birds and the techniques that the birds use to control their flying, they applied this to the planes. And so in the... On December 17, 1903, the Wright brothers, they went back to Kitty Hawk and they tested their planes. Now we're going to talk about aerodynamics. Can anybody in their own words tell me what they think aerodynamics is? Dylan. Um, it's um, like forces of the stuff mostly. You, you're on. And aerodynamics has a lot to do with the forces and motion of motion. And it has a lot to do with flying as well. So, and there are four forces of flight. The first one is that that keeps keep the lift of the plane. The weight, well, the weight we've kind of hit on, somebody said already, Braxton, I think, said, the weight keeps it down because the weight is what keeps everything down. So what, what is that force called that keeps us to the ground? Gravity. My top part of that is drag. Drag is something that slows something down. So the more narrow something is, the less drag it has because it's able to move through the wind. This is just an illustration of the lift and the drag and the thrust and the weight. We said that the lift and the weight counterbalance each other. And we said that the thrust and the drag do the same. So that's what keeps the plane in the air. The C-105 Arrow, which is a fighter jet, it is built for speed and it is going to be awesome. We're going to have so much fun making it. Now, oh, I want you to hold it, hold it. Oh, oh, it's it's down in the yellow shirt. Oh, 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 I'm going to I can not It went off the scale. Now, everybody, you guys know the number of inches that your plane went, but now we want the number of feet. So how do we figure that out? Divided by 12. Divided by 12. Well, that concludes our lesson, and we really thank you a lot. You guys did a very good job with it, and thank you for letting us come and do this lesson with you. So. And we hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we all enjoyed it.